Uh, but before we jump into that, let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. So come on down to your hands and knees. Make sure the hands are under the shoulders and your knees are under your hips. And just start off with a cat cow stretch. So tuck your tailbone and push the middle of the back up. Exhale. And then pressing the chest toward the floor. Pinch your shoulder blades and turn ahead. Inhale. And exhale. Press. Inhale and arch. Breathing in deep through the nose. Exhale. Press. Inhale. Arch. Good. Give me a couple more times here. Just working through those two different movements there. Good. And then return your spine to neutral. You're going to extend your right leg behind you and your left arm in front of you. And we're going to lift both the arm and the leg at the same time and then tap the floor in between. So just lift and tap. Lift, tap. Lift, tap. Just lift up as high as you can. Try to keep that back leg straight. Feel the glute of the working leg. Feel the shoulder of that working arm warming up. And let's go ahead and switch sides. Extend right arm, left leg back, and just a lift and a tap. And a lift and a tap. And keep that going. And we're breathing. Good. A couple more times here. Three, two, and one. Good. And now return back to your hands and knees. Take your right hand behind your head. Rotate the right elbow internally toward the left elbow, and then rotate it externally and look underneath of the elbow as you do. So internal and external rotation. Exhaling as you rotate up with your elbow. A couple times on this side, and then we're going to trans transition over to the other side for a couple. Keep that going. Don't stop on my account. Three, two, one, go. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Same thing. Internal, external, rotation. Again, you're looking under that elbow as you rotate that elbow up, and you're exhaling at the same time. It's amazing. Keep it going. Keep it going. Three, two, and one. Good. Back to the hands and knees. And now, left leg. Keep that left knee bent to 90 degrees. And just lift the leg out to the side and back to the floor. Lift it out lift, and set it back down. We're going to move into the hips now, warming up those glutes and hips. We're still breathing. Engage the core. Keep lifting that leg out. Three, two, one. Let's go ahead and switch legs, please. Switch legs. Keep the knee bent to 90 degrees. Just lift that leg out and back. Good. Give it a couple more here. Three, two, and one. One. Excellent. All right. Now tuck your toes under. Push your tailbone to the ceiling. Press your chest back towards your feet. Nice down dog stretch in the morning. Press those hips up high, pushing your chest back and down. And then walk your hands back to your feet. But don't roll up yet. Keep the feet wide. And if they're not wide already, go ahead and widen your stance. And then walk both hands over to your left foot. And we're going to hold here for five, four, Three, two, one. Walk it over to the right side and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Both hands down the middle. Bend the left leg. Keep that right leg straight. Send the hip down as low to the floor as you can, keeping that left heel on the floor. Knee tracking toward the second toe. Stay low. Switch sides. Good. Let's switch that again. Good, switch. Excellent. And let's switch that one more time. Good, and again, straighten both legs, drop the head. Walk your feet in now to hip distance. And deep squat, drop those hips straight down. Yeah, get those hip flexors woke up. Press the knees out with your elbows. Let's get a little twist here. So keep the left elbow inside the left uh, knee and then grab the right ankle with your left hand and rotate and reach your right arm to the sky. A little T-spine stretch here. Let's switch sides. Good. Switch it again. Yep. And let's go ahead and switch that one more time. Good. 
And then place both hands on the ground in front of you. Lean into your elbows. Push your knees out. Pressing the knees against the elbows and the inside of the knees against the elbows. Good. And rock back to your heels. Straighten your legs. Drop your neck. Press the knees back. Just let the torso hang. Nice little stretch there on the hamstrings. And then a slight bend to the knees. To curl the spine. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Woo! Head rush is complimentary. And let's go ahead and roll the shoulders around a few times one way. And we're breathing, getting warm. And let's go the other way for a few. Good. And with your hands on your hips, your chin to your chest, let's roll the neck around a few times one direction. That's right. And switch direction for a few. Good, breathing. And look straight ahead, extend both arms out to the side. And we're gonna rotate the palms in opposite directions. That's right, we're working through the rotator cuff on both sides. Just twist the palms around, twist the palms around, and twist it. Good, and twist. Good, and just a little swing of the arms here. And let's go ahead and take that into some jumping jacks. Tap the fingers and slap the thighs. There we go, let's bounce. Good. Good, give me about 10 more seconds here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's take that into seal jacks. Wide arms, wide feet, cross the feet, cross the arms. Give me 10 seconds here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, let's take that. Some skater hops, little dinky hops. Don't have to be big ones. Just wake up those glutes. Push off of one leg, land on the other. Keep that going. Give me 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, come on. Six, five, bring the arms along. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, we are warm. So like I said earlier, we have a circuit of four exercises. I'm going to change up the times, we're going to vary the times as we work through these four exercises and we're going to be going four times through, total of 16 sets. First time we go through, we're going to work 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So we're going to come out of the gate hot. And then the next two times we go through, I'm going to change the time to 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. And then the fourth time we go through, I'm going to go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So. That final time, we'll get a lot more break. Then we're gonna rest, or not rest, we're gonna break for abdominals, and then I got four more exercises I'm gonna show you, and we're gonna run that exact same protocol for those four exercises, and that is what you're looking at today for your workout. So, first exercise out of the gate is going to be a sprawl into a snatch. So with your dumbbell, you're gonna stand over top of your dumbbell, you're gonna put both hands on the floor, straddle the dumbbell, you're gonna hop back, Hop in, make sure when you hop in, the knees go out past the elbows. From here, you're gonna grab your dumbbell, press it directly overhead, back to the floor, hop out, hop in, switch arms, simple. From there, we're gonna go into a single arm, well, not, I've got a push-up with a single arm row, I mean. So this is how it's gonna work. With your dumbbell, you're gonna hold it in one hand, the other hand is on the floor, and you're gonna come into a push-up position. All right, so you're gonna do a push-up here, and then pull that opposite arm. Push up, pull. Push up and pull with that opposite arm. Obviously, you can do this from the knees as well. And we will switch arms at the halfway mark. So we have a push and a pull working on that exercise. Then we're gonna go into kickouts. So from your quadruped position, hands and toes down, not hands and knees, hands and toes. You're gonna rotate your hip and you're gonna kick that opposite or that bottom leg out as far as you can. And you're gonna bring that one back in, rotate the hips all the way through to the other side and kick out on the other side and back. So we kick, turn the hips, kick, turn the hips, kick, okay? Kick outs. And then lastly, we're gonna do a inchworm into a jump squat. So you'll stand if you have a mat, stand at the narrow edge of your mat facing the long edge or the long end. Hands to the floor, you're gonna walk out. Push up here is optional. Walk back, jump out, push, walk back, and 
jump. That's what we're looking at. All right? Four exercises, four rounds. First round is going to be 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So get your implements ready. Get your weapons ready. Get your dumbbells, your kettlebells, sandbag, whatever you're going to use. Let's get that ready to rock. First one out, we're going to go each of these exercises. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, okay? So this is going to be a tough one right out of the gate. Starting with our sprawl and snatch. And we go in three, two, one. Here we go. Hop out, hop in, grab the dumbbell, right overhead. Back out, in, alternate arms. Good, keep the dumbbell close to the body when you drive it overhead. And let the hip driving forward be the primary mover in that. When you're pressing that dumbbell overhead, you lead with the elbow. That's halfway. Keep it going. And back up. Hop out, hop in, dumbbell, hips drive forward. Keep the dumbbell close to the body. Drive it directly overhead. Woo! Keep that going. You have got five, four, three, two, time. Great, you only have 10 seconds. We're gonna go push up, single arm row. Let's start loading on the right arm. We're gonna go 25 seconds and switch. Go, push up, pull, push up, pull. Again, you can do these from your knees if you need to. You're using that momentum coming out of that push up to pull the dumbbell. And again, make sure when you're rowing the dumbbell, don't pull the dumbbell to your armpit. Pull the dumbbell back toward the hip. Keep going, come on. Woo. Switch arms. Push up, pull. Push and pull. Come on, push and pull. Push and pull. Woo. Wider stance is gonna help with that. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, 10 second break, that's all we got. From our quadruped position, we're gonna rotate the hip, keep the bottom leg out, and switch sides. Let's go, 50 seconds. That is gonna be a long time here. So find a pace that you can maintain. Rotate the hips, extend that bottom leg. Make sure when you are rotating the hips, the knees are bent. The tendency sometimes is to use straight legs like this. We don't want to do that. Keep those knees bent. Only time the legs extend is when that bottom leg kicks out. That's right. 15 seconds. Come on. Come on. Less than 10 seconds. Keep working. Four, three, two, time. Well done. All right, we're gonna go each worm. Walk it out, push up optional. Walk it back, and a squat jump. Three, two, one, let's go. Walk it out, push up. Walk it back, jump. Walk out, or no push up. Walk it back, jump. Come on, jump. Push up, walk it back, and jump. Keep on going. Don't stop on my account. 25 seconds to go. And we're gonna switch it up, and we're gonna go 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. And we're gonna run through that series of four exercises. Two more, three more rounds actually, but two at that 40, 20. 10 more seconds, keep it going. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and time. All right, you guys. As soon as I set up this timer, we're gonna get right back into it. This time we're going 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're gonna cook through that list two times, total of eight sets, and no better time than right now. We got our single arm sprawl into snatches. Three, two, one, let's go. Hop out, hop in, reach up right overhead. Back to the floor with the dumbbell. Alternate hands. 
Keep that dumbbell close to your body. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's important. Lead with the elbow when you fire that dumbbell overhead. 20 more seconds, come on. Come on. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Two, one, well done. Big 20 second break. Oh, it's gonna seem like forever. <laughs> Next we got our push up with our row. Push up, row on one arm. Push up and row. 20 seconds each arm. Get your minds right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on, push, pull that dumbbell. That's right, that's right. Push out of that push up and just let that dumbbell follow right on through. There you go, get ready to switch arms. Two, one, switch sides, come on. Pull, push, pull. You're breathing along the way, you're breathing every step of the way, come on. Three, two, one time, excellent. Kickouts are next. You guys should remember these. Rotate, kick, rotate, kick. You can go as fast as you'd like. You can do a little hop too. If you want to get a little bit of extra cardio out of it, your call. Five seconds, here we go. Four, three, two, come on. Rotate and kick. And switch over to the other side. There you go. There we go. Good. Make sure those knees stay bent. And that top arm, that arm that you are not balanced on, you can just drive the elbow back. Bend the elbow and reach it back. If you're elbowing somebody behind you. You got less than 10 seconds, come on. Three, two, one. That is another 20 second break, well done. We got our inchworm jump squats happening. Whew, it's a good one today. 10 seconds, get ready. Hands to the floor, walk out, walk back, and jump. Again, push up, that's optional. Three, two, one, here we go, hands down, walk it out, push up, walk it back, jump, and out, no push up, and back, and jump up just as high as you can, Push the floor away from you. And jump. Keep that going. There you go. Good. Come on. Come on. Walk it back and jump. You got less than 20 seconds here. About 15 to go. Push up. Walk it back. Jump. Walk it out. Four. Three. Two. One, we're back to the top of this rotation. That means we're doing our sprawl snatch combo. You got 10 seconds. Get ready. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's work. Hands down, hop it out, hop it in. Like you're gonna throw that dumbbell. Hop out, hop in, and reach it. Like a whip. Whack. Whack. Come on. Come on. 20 seconds, halfway home. That's right. Good. Come on, five more seconds. Time, back to our push-ups and rows. Push-ups and rows. Woo, I'm awake. I hope you are. 10 seconds. Big breaths, breathe in your nose, breathe out your mouth. Fill your lungs entirely. Three, two, one, let's work. Push and pull, and push. Come on. 
Find a way. Get ready to switch arms. Three, two, one. Switch arms. Come on. Come on, less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and time. All right, we are back to our kickouts. Rotate the hips, kick out the foot. Get ready, five seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. Rotate, kick, and kick, and kick. I think when you're transitioning from one foot to the other, the knees bend and keep the knees close to the ground. And you're just pivoting on the balls of the feet. That's right. That's right. It's a tough one. Come on. Come on. Ten more seconds. You got this. Come on, give me ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, time. All right, we got our final 40 20, and we're going to come through this list one more time 30 30. So you get a lot of break on this next one. But until we get there, we got to do our last round of inchworm and jump squats at our 40 20. Get ready. We go in three, two, one. Come on, let's do it. Hands to the floor. Walk it out. Push up optional. Walk it back. Jump, not optional. Walk it out. Push up. Walk it back. Ha, come on. Walk it out. Walk it back. And jump. Good. That's right. Come on. Wake that body up. Get those muscles firing. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, we got one more round. This time we're going to go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. This 30 seconds is going to be such a luxury. 30 seconds of rest, that is. All right, you guys, without further ado, one more time on each. We got our sprawl into single arm snatch. 30 seconds here. Let's go. Three. Two, one, let's work it. Hop out, hop in, right overhead. Out, in, and switch arms. This is only 30 seconds here. This is gonna make those other circuits seem so much harder. Come on, 15 seconds, you're already halfway there. Let's go, 10 seconds, nothing to it. Five, four, Three, two, one, time. You got 30 seconds here. You can text a friend, compose an email, cook breakfast. Well, not cook breakfast, baby, but you get the idea. You got 15 more seconds. Whew. And we got our push ups with rope. We're going to be doing 15 seconds on each arm. Good, good. 30 seconds actually doesn't seem like so long. When you're fighting, breathe. Here we go. Three, two, one. Back to our push up and row. And push up and pull. Push and pull. Come on. Let's go. Everybody's looking good. Switch arms, switch arms. Good. Five. Four, three, two, one. Time. Kickouts. 30 seconds. Woo. This is how we wake it up on Wednesday. Wednesday. 20 seconds. Whew. Big breaths. Breathe in your nose. Out your mouth. Get ready. Got a lot of rest here, so let's go the whole 30, okay? Three, two, one, let's work it. Make sure that your core is engaged here. Squeeze your belly. Now 
Jesse like to put it, stiff belly, stiff belly. Come on. Yeah, you're gonna feel that in your abs, your shoulders, quads. Five seconds. Three, two, one, time. Here we are. Final exercise of this first circuit. We got our inchworm into jump squats, then we're gonna break for a little abdominals. 20 seconds, lots of time. Ten seconds. Walk it out, push up optional, walk it back and jump. Oh, challenge yourself. Maybe throw those push ups in this time. Now, all this rest. Three, two, one, and hands to the floor, walk it out. Push up, walk it back, jump up high, push the floor away. Push up, and whew, walk it out. Push up, and back, and leap. Come on. Come on. Push the floor with the feet. 10 seconds. Let's go. Come on, give me at least one more. At least one more. Five seconds. Two, one, done. All right, y'all. Great job. Grab a sip of water if you need a towel off. It's ab time. Ab time. All right, four exercises. We're going to work through three rounds. The first three exercises are going to be four reps. And the final exercise is going to be for time. So these are very basic exercises. So instead of me just showing all the four and then we do it, let's just do it. First exercise, lie down. Hands together in prayer mode, like please don't make these too hard. Reach your fingertips towards your knees. If you lift your shoulders up, break the plane of the knees with the fingertips and back down. I need 20 and we go in three, two, one, go for one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Come on. Five. Keep it going. Four, three, two, and time. And now you're going to aim your heels toward the ceiling and you're going to reach up and tap the toes and then tap the floor with the fingertips. Go floor, toes, floor, toes. 20 times on my count. Three, two, one, go. One and two. Hit those toes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten. Come on. Nine, eight, seven. Come on. Six, five. Swing those arms. Four, three, two, time. Woo! Bicycles up next. Hands behind the head. You can keep the knees bent or reach the legs out. If you're reaching out, pull one knee at a time. If your knees are bent, extend one leg at a time. Either way, 20 times on my count. Three, two, one, go. One, reach those legs. Two, three, four, come on. Five, six, seven, keep it going. Eight, nine, 10, and one, two, three, let's go. Four, Five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, twenty, and we're gonna hold. You guys know we're gonna hold our tuck position or our hollow, full hollow hold. Thirty seconds in three. Woo! Abs are screaming. Two, one, and go. Hold. And we just go to a happy place. Squeeze them. There you go. Reach the legs out. If you can't, if you're sort of in between holding the tuck and holding it, this is too easy, but this is too hard, you could do a little jackknife here. Pull one knee in and extend one leg out. Keep it going. Three, two, one, time. Excellent. We know what we're doing, right? Because we just did it, so let's do it again. Here we go. Back to our crunches. Hands together, fingertips toward the knees. Oh, we're gonna get those abs today. Three, two, one, go. One, and two, three, four, five, come on. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's ten. Ten more, and one. 
two, three, four, mission sore abs, six, seven, eight, 19, 20, heels to the ceiling, right here, arms out to the side, tap those toes in three, two, one, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, just reach the shoulders off the ground, you can keep the lower back on the ground, eight, nine, come on, ten, swing those arms, one, two, reach for those toes, three, four, let's go, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, we're back to our bicycles, four, twenty, in three, two, one, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, let's go, six, five, four, three, two, time, we're going to hold it, 30 seconds, get ready, tuck hold or full on hollow hold, and we go in three, two, one, hold, come on. Good, shoulders are up, chin to your chest, feet are just off the ground, not too high up. Come on, we got 10 more seconds. Stay with it, stay with it. Squeeze those abdominals. Five, four, three, two, one. That's right, we said three, we got one more round. Oh man, we can do it, we can do it. Here we go. Take little breaks along the way if you need to. Hands together, fingertips toward the knees, and three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten. Come on. Nine, eight, seven. That's right. Six, five, four, woo, three, two, time. All right, let's hit those toesies. In three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, woo, six packs all around today. Everybody gets a six pack. All right, bicycles. You know what you're doing. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, come on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time, last one, 30 seconds. Tuck or hollow hold. Three, two, one, and go. <sighs> hold it. <sighs> good. Good, good. You got 15 more seconds. Come on, stay with it, stay with it. 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, time. All right, well done. Those are abs. Oh yeah, we got those abs today. All right, let's go over our next round. So next we're gonna have a reverse lunge into an overhead press. So just like it sounds, there's a couple of ways you can do this, however. So I'll show you the easy way and I'll show you the slightly um, more intense way. So the easy way, Holding the dumbbell in your right hand, step back on the right leg, curl the bottom, press, and stand. Simple as that. Step back, curl, press, and stand, okay? Now, if you want to increase the intensity on this one, hold the overhead press as you stand. So you would step back, curl, hold, and stand up out of that hold. So keep the dumbbell overhead as you come out of that reverse lunge, okay? We're going to stay on one leg for uh, half of the time, and then we'll switch other legs for a half of the time. Then we're going to go into wood choppers. All right, holding your dumbbell, 
You're going to rotate your hips, pivot on the opposite heel. And you're going to reach the dumbbell from outside of the knee, over the shoulder, and then back down. We're going to go half the time, diagonally from one air, uh, um, in one direction, and then diagonally in the other direction for the other half of the time. Then, we're going back to abs. What? Yes, it's abs city today. So you're going to lean back, and you're going to do these little bicycles sitting up with your hands behind you. We're going to go half the time this way, and then half the time this way, okay? Just going to switch direction, rolling for half of the time. And lastly, we have press jacks. So, you can hold one dumbbell in front of your chest, you're going to hop both feet out and press overhead at the same time, or you can hold one dumbbell on one arm, do single arm on one side for half of the time, single arm on the other side for half of the time. I'm going to leave that choice entirely up to you. All right, like we did before, we're going to start out 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off as we come through these first, uh, for, these, uh, for the first time. So get yourself situated, because we're going to go in. <clears throat> we got reverse lunge overhead press. Three, two, one. Here we go. Step it back, curl, press, stand, and back down. Step it back, and back. Step it back, curl, press, stand, and down. Or you can do the whole thing and then stand up into it. And back down. And down. Come on, keep it going. Remember, this is 50 seconds. Switch arms. Step it back, curl, press, and stand up. Come on. You got 10 more seconds. Keep it going. Keep working. Two, one, time. All right, wood choppers. From here, rotate, swing that dumbbell over the opposite shoulder. We're gonna go half the time swing one way, half of the time swinging the other. Let's go. That's right. Think of swinging quickly and then stopping that motion. Got a lot of core work in here as well. You got shoulders working, you should feel this in your glutes. Keep the knees bent, right? We don't want to stand tall. Keep those knees slightly bent, switch sides. Rotate the hip. And make sure that opposite heel is pivoting. Come on. And as you reach that dumbbell, reach it away from the body. Don't reach it to the side and up. Reach it away from the body. Five seconds. Three, two, one, time. Whew. All right, these ones are gonna smart. Especially because we just did it. That's okay though. That's all right. Here we go. And nice easy circles. Lean back. Make sure your hands are behind you. Protecting the lower back. You're gonna feel these in your quads. Hip flexors. Woo! Wait till they reverse. Don't stop yet. Five more seconds. Three, two, and switch direction. Scoop the feet. That's right. Oh man. Ah, can you do it? Can you do it? 15 more seconds. Can you keep this going? Come on. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! That's right. All right, you're gonna wake up tomorrow, your abs are gonna be sore, you're gonna be like, yeah. All right, we're going to our press jacks. Single arm or double arm. Hop the feet out, punch that dumbbell overhead. Or we do one arm at a time. Right, that's right. Get that chest up, tailbone tucked. Come on. Keep it going. If you are doing single arm, switch arms. You got 15 more seconds. Let's.
let's go. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, we're gonna switch gears here. We're gonna go into 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and we're gonna cook through those four exercises. Two rounds, and get ready. Get ready, sorry about that, and we go. In three, step back, reverse lunge, press overhead, let's work. Right arm, right leg, and back. Step it back. Try not to rest on that back knee. Don't come down and rest on the knee and curl and press, keep that knee just off the ground. Come on. Switch arms. Keep breathing. Come on, five more seconds. Three, two, one. Time! What, Chabas? Ten seconds. Remember, reach the dumbbell away from the body. Don't keep it close to the body and reach up like so. It's not like a golf swing, okay? Reach it out in front of you. Here we go. And go. Keep that slight bend in the knees the whole time. Come on. Diagonal chops across the body. Three, two, one, switch sides. Come on, keep that breath up. Switch direction. Three, two, one. Switch direction. Scoop the feet. Keep working it. Keep working it. Come on. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're back to our press jacks. Single arm or double arm. Your call. Either way. 40 seconds. Here we go. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Right here. Or we're here. That's right. Keep breathing. Push that dumbbell, exhale. Push the dumbbell, exhale. Find a tempo here, find a tempo, like a jumping jack. Switch arms if you're going single arm. These need tempo to them. Going slow, doesn't make it better. Come on. Five, four, three, two, time. Okay, that was our first round of 40-20. Let's do it all over again. Step back, reverse lunge, overhead press, and again, Remember, don't let that back knee touch the floor. Hover, hover over the floor. Here we go, five seconds. Three, two, one, let's do it. Step back, curl, press, step forward, bring the dumbbell back down. Step back. Come on.
Switch arms. That's right. Push that dumbbell to the ceiling and step into it. Come on, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time. What chop us? Ten seconds. Get it ready. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Swing and back. Diagonal. Reach that dumbbell away. Use that rotation of the hip to get that dumbbell to swing to the opposite side of the body. Come on. Three, two, one. One, switch sides. Let's go. That's right. Whip that dumbbell around. Get that fast twitch muscle fiber working. Three, two, one, time. All right, back to our bicycles. 15 seconds. Whew. <laughs> 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, come on. And let's go for a little bike ride. Big breaths. Not interested in speed here. Just a nice steady pace. But I'm more interested in see if you can do the whole time. Because we are about to switch direction. Come on. That burn kicks in immediately on switching, but you got this. You got less than 10 seconds, come on. Four, three, two, one, time. All right, this is our last one at 40-20, and then we switch to our nice, comfortable 30-30. And that will take us home. All right, guys, press jacks, get ready, 10 seconds again. We can go two arms or one. We go in five, four, come on, three, two, one, let's do it. Straight overhead. Hop out and in, out and in. Keep that tempo up. And switch arms, come on. Keep it going. Come on. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, time. All right, you guys, we got one more round. And this time, again, we're gonna go 30-30 here. And this is gonna take us home. Get ready to rumble, here we go. Step back, reverse lunge, overhead press, three, two, one. Let's go, come on, step back, curl, press, stand into it, and return. Step back, curl, press, stand, and bring it back, go. Come on, give me at least one more. Yep, switch arms, here we go. And step it back. Five more seconds, nothing to it. Time, woo! Big 30 second break. Yes, yes. All right, we got our wood choppers coming up next. I'm gonna change it up a little bit though. Check it out. Now, instead of going diagonal across the body, we're gonna go horizontal from side to side. All right, horizontal from side to side. Get ready. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Here we go, side, side. You feel your core working, right? Of course you do. This is kicking your core's butt, come on. Quickly, fast. 
Go, go. Five seconds. Three, two, one, time. All righty. We got our bicycles, we got our press jacks, and we're gonna stretch it out. Fifteen seconds. I love these thirty-second rest periods. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and let's go for the ride. Nice steady breath, steady pace, keep it going. Switch direction if you have not, switch direction if you have not. Five seconds, three, two, one. 30 second break, press jacks, and you're good. Fifteen seconds to get them done. Use this guy this time. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on. Was a long workout. Nice job, everybody.